proposal section of the agenda. We had a count on how many people were here. Can that be read out? Uh, 68 was the last count. 68. So we operate by 90% modified consensus in this group, which means that essentially if seven people <coughs> vote down something, it would not pass in, in this particular body. Um, so um, the plan for this meeting, we've been out of GA for three weeks. We were the, the, it was a proposal before we kind of ceased GA for a three-week period to do a community-wide listening campaign and start forming um, direction for a strategic plan for 2012 for, for Occupy Richmond. Um, that was the intention for this, for this meeting for the most part. Um, that said, I've heard, uh, facilitation has heard a great number of concerns that there were a number of other proposals that people would really like to see um, take place with the, the space for proposals in this particular GA. Um, because it's the first of the year, we've been out of GA for a long time. Um, hoping to respect that and make sure we get everything done, uh, facilitation would like to suggest that we take about 45 minutes max to address, we have four proposals, five proposals that came to COCO before this meeting, before we roll into the full out strategic planning session. So Those things that just the formal proposals, there are informal proposals as well. There will be a period for the 15 minute period for informal proposals as well. Um, but just speaking to the agenda, that's something we can't technically change because it was voted on. Um, so I'd like to do a temp check. Is there interest in spending some time, about 45 minutes on proposals, before we get into the full on strategic plan? Um, or is there interest in putting that later? One other bit of information that I've heard is that some of these formal proposals might inform the actual strategic planning process. Um, so I'd like to take a temp check. Are people comfortable taking about 45 minutes tops and I'll cut it off at 45 to spend on this stuff before moving uh, into the strategic planning session? Is anybody against this? All right, nobody's against it, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so now we're going to roll into informal proposals for 15 minutes um, and also be pretty hard about this, so I'm going to open stack uh, for taking informal proposals. Um, let's, we'll actually read off what an informal proposal is here um, up on the wall. Thanks Isaac for doing that. An informal proposal is a proposal which has not been fully thought out and or has not received input or work from multiple individuals. The goal of presenting an informal proposal is to find out how the group is feeling about the proposal, which is done during temp check. So we take a temp check on the proposal, and then figure out the best way to proceed and who uh, would follow through and point people for that. It can then lead into threshing sessions and that kind of a thing. So we usually don't vote on informal proposals, and as a result, they usually don't need to take much more than two to three minutes tops. Um, clarifying question. Is, um, is that not to say that informal proposals with overwhelming consensus um, can then move into a formal proposal if the body believes it's uh, pertinent? It, it could, if the body believes it's pertinent. Again, unless it's overwhelming and we really have consensus, I'm going to be very careful facilitating this particular meeting <coughs> to let that take place so we can keep this process moving forward. Uh, but oftentimes an informal proposal that has very clear, overwhelming consensus support could turn into a, a vote and pass immediately. Clarifying question. Would that be... Uh, Presented then in the formal proposal section of the meeting, or would it just happen right there? It, it would usually happen right there if that process was taking place. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to open stack for informal proposals. Copies. If there are a couple extra in your row, you all can share them around. You've had a chance to look at them. Uh, this is something that Danielle and myself have been working on for 
about two weeks, and it certainly had uh, quite a lot of thought put into it, and probably two dozen or so people have looked at it and contributed in some way, shape, or form. But uh, essentially... All right, so um, the idea behind this is that we want to create a document that details why we're all here and what we're trying to do. Um, I, I want something that will um, inform our, our process for the next year. Um, this is good. Honestly, the, um, the impetus behind this was a desire to have a very strong statement against the NDAA and SOTA. Um, and that kind of that kind of rolled into something, maybe we should frame that in general philosophical terms of why those things don't mesh with our ideas of you know, <coughs> justice or you know, fairness or those things. So the idea is that we are going to create a list that will um, say why we're here, and um, we've created a, a process for that. Yeah, we, we've got like a, a process that includes a sort of a framework document which doesn't need to be set in stone. If we, if we pass this informally or formally, it can change in a couple weeks after the process goes through itself. That's on the second page. That framework document right. is on the second page of this handout. I just um, to read it to you real quick. It sounds like, Society is in crisis. The massive exploitation of both humans and our planet, perpetuated by the extreme concentration of economic, governmental, and cultural power in those who wield it, is in resulting in rampant injustice, including... And then it would include our list of collective reasons as to why we're all in this room. That we can all agree on, because we haven't really gotten that down yet. Um, and then to begin to address this uh, crisis, we make the following demands. Demands is used usefully. Um, and then, like, what are our solutions to all these injustices that we've just identified? What are our collectively agreed upon solutions? And so, I mean, I think, and I think most of y'all have probably gone through this yeah. procedure before, because we took... Um, index cards with why we were here and what our statements were before. I don't know what happened to those, so we're going to start that process again. We have the Tupperware in the back. We have like four stacks of index cards and Sharpies. And if y'all wish to participate, we, we just want you to write down the, the things that you feel are wrong. Um, the reasons why you're here, the things you would like to see changed, anything that you feel is a grievance against our current society, our current system, our government, corporations, our economic system, anything. And what put those, brought you here? What brought you here? And put those in the box. And what we're going to do is um, anyone who is interested in helping us, please, please come forward um, after, after the GA. But what we're going to do is we're going to condense those all down. We're going to make sure that they're all represented. But I have a feeling that a lot of them will repeat each other. And so we're going we're gonna to make a list and we're going to bring that to the next <laughs> GA as a formal proposal if we get your approval to bring it as a formal proposal. And that list of grievances will inform our demands. So what are we voting on? On if it's or okay, attention. whether or not it's okay to begin this process of creating this document. And whether or not we all agree that this document is uh, something that would be very helpful to inform our strategy so that we have a list of like collective agreed upon ideals. So we'll for formally, let's take a temp check. Who's in support of forming this document and letting that inform our strategy? Is there any, if you're not interested, if you don't want to use the document, if you don't want to do this, please show your I, I have some clarifying sure. questions. I see the term manifesto. That's, that's what, what is, the term is used. And I'm concerned because I see the word manifesto and then I see a bunch of people, I mean, I don't, I mean, I've read over it, but I'm not ready to like raise my hands to any sort of manifesto um, or can, anything like me, that. And and it sounds like, what what is the purpose of right. the manifesto? Let me answer. Let me answer this because we went through a long vetting process on um, a digital document exchange online with probably like 30 different people who participated in it, and there were lots of no questions. Um, we posted it online on many different sources, so I don't know. There's lots of people that were through. Thirty people responded. I mean, well, I mean, there was. All right. Um, there were problems with the word manifesto. There were problems with the word grievance. There were problems with the word demands. These are not set in stone. I have, I have no I got no attachment. problem with grievance or demands. Okay, so I have no so attachment. I'm gonna jump in. Thank you. The vote is to start a process and form a document. Name and the, the actual substance of the document are to be voted on at a yes. future point. Yes. That is the informal That'll be the proposal. formal part, is voting on the actual content. Can we see, because there was strong support, is anybody against it in these terms? All right, we're good. 
There was no, that, that one passes. There was no dissent whatsoever. We are starting this document. Okay. No need for and we do have these index cards in Sharpies. There's a tub at the back. Let's start with our green. Chris Dorsey. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm Chris Dorsey. Uh, my proposal is a proposal, informal. It's been made before, formally and informally. It's been discussed upon dozens and dozens of people. Um, who have been a part of this group or are no longer part of this group because of things like the restrictive rules of the General Assembly process. There being dozens and dozens of rules of being too complicated to understand. Um, and just want to make a proposal that we not call our uh, expression of speech time soapbox because I think that has a negative connotation. And we shouldn't start it before the meeting starts, and it should be the longest period of time, if not the only thing that's done during our time, which is to allow people to speak if they want to speak, and then the proposal process can come out of that. This is the most, this, these, this process we have now, it's the most rules of any organization I've ever been a part of, and I can't keep up. So, um, I'm not sure anybody else can clarify any questions from the service. Yeah, apart from your opinion, which was very well um, shared, very clear, what are, the, what are the key points of your proposal again? The proposal is to have our meetings be nothing but free speech, along with work announcements, uh, work group announcements, which can be a part of the free speech. And anybody who's doing any work is part of a work group, even if it's just two people. Um, and li take the limits off of all the rules that we have right now, which kind of limits speech, in my opinion, and, and in others. Can I clarify question? Yes, you said this soapbox time would turn into formal proposals after it's going on. But do do you do you, don't we have to have a theme for the soapbox? I and mean, how would it just be evolved into a proposal of what substance of so many different conversations? Anybody's ideas and free will, and I, again, I would not call it soapbox. I would just call it free speech. You know, free speech zone. Like our meetings are nothing but a free speech zone. That's what I'm proposing. Clarifying question? Yeah. Would it be moderated? I mean, I think that there would need to be some way to keep people from going on and on or not getting to a point, like some sure. facilitation. I, I'm not saying that there needs to go from 100% micromanagement facilitation, like in my opinion we have now, to no facilitation. But I would, again, change the word facilitators because we're all adults here. We don't, I don't need a facilitator. I, don't need, I feel like I'm treated like a child in, in some instances, and I, I don't need it. And the hand signals are, are really a key point uh, with me. I don't need to be rolled along, but, but I will say, yeah, there would be order. I mean, we would have to have some sort of order, but the people decide what the order is, not something that we run right into, like now, that wasn't consensed upon um, okay. by the group which so is what we are doing now. We're at the three minute time limit for that proposal. There was- That's it, I mean, I'll talk about it again. Do we want to take a few more clarifying questions or do we want to, um, or do we want to like take a temp check and then move along, so. Oh, my, my next proposal is that we eliminate the roll along, roll along but thing. Wouldn't that be free speech though? Okay, isn't that free speech? Are you, I mean, I guess it would be free roll? speech, but I would prefer somebody just say like, Move it along. It's a little okay, less powerful. Chris, who's interested in temp checking this one moving on? And who, if you're interested in that, please show. Do we want, and if you're interested in taking more clarifying questions. We, there's a block back there. So let's block. Let's, let's discuss okay, the block. So the, there was interest in moving along. So um, can we show temp check support for Chris's, um, for Chris's proposal or informal proposal? There's a block. Oh, excuse me. This would be kind of hijacking Occupy Richmond and turning it into a conversation instead of a set group, kind of. The words aren't coming out right. Okay. We can. Occupy Richmond has procedure, it has rules for a reason. Right. And taking away those rules would just kind of destroy the whole thing. Okay. I would leave this this afternoon. You would leave this afternoon. All right, thank you. Um, so, temp check support. Questions back there, Alan and Megan. We've actually already moved along to to temp checking and moving on. 
So, um, temp check so, support for this. No question. And temp Talk check not that if you don't support this particular proposal. Okay, we're going to move on to the next uh, the next topic. The next now? Formal proposal. I'm sorry, I didn't know your name. Uh, oh, howdy. All right. I'm Tom. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I did this in Soapbox earlier, but there were much fewer people here. And I was unclear. And in addition, I think this is a better, it's better to be proposed informally as an informal proposal. Um, so I'm firstly solidarity from Occupy Reno, which is my home occupation. All right. Because in Reno, we like to uh, gamble in the casinos and not you know, let our banks do it for us. Um, in Reno, <laughs> in Reno uh, the camp there, and they still have a camp, have had a great deal of success contacting veterans of the Iraq and Afghanistan wars who have come home or are having an incredibly tough time in this recession. Half the time, you know, a lot of these guys really believe in our cause and are afraid, given their cultural circumstances and given what they've been through, to come out. And a lot of people are also locked in by the various disorders that you get serving. PTSD, things like that. I've met guys that hit the ground when a truck goes by. It's weird. Um, it's not cool. Um, and so uh, my point is, I am not a veteran. I am in contact with, in Reno, a lot of people who are veterans. If we have any veterans here, I would love to be a point man for some kind of group to get these folks involved, male and female, everybody, and get this thing moving. In particular, in terms of building a camp, if we get to that point once more, uh, they're the most useful people. They know what they're doing. We need them. All right. So I believe the informal proposal was is to form some kind of group um, to get something like this moving. Essentially, I don't know fully what I'm doing. I'm not a veteran myself. I'm. I don't think I'm the best person to contact these folks and be this guy. But I'm sure that there's someone here who is and knows someone who is. Okay. If we can get that group rolling. <coughs> Point of process. Um, if he is trying to start a work group, like to start a work group, that doesn't need to be brought in. So it can just be done. Oh, so this, this could have been an announcement so of the week. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm saying we don't need to, but he can still can. Okay. I'm sorry about that. No. Yeah. Point of clarification? Point of clarification on that. Didn't you bring it up again because you had brought it up in Soapbox to an empty audience and wanted us to actually know yeah. about it? Yeah, yeah that and, and also it's more like I don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like somebody else does. Uh, you're so, doing great. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't that. um, I want to point out under the on this outreach sheet here. Uh, your idea might be a good fit for the activities that we got here. So you're already, you're already talking about unions and stuff? Yeah. This might yeah, be a good a way to fit that in. I will say in Reno they've actually developed a specific group that's slightly separate from the outreach because they have their own needs and concerns. Yeah. But um, yeah, you've, you've definitely got a solid It might be a good start. Yeah, that's true. So let's take an inform uh, a temp check on, on the proposal. Who is in support of this proposal? Is anybody against this proposal? All right. Is, is there a point of clarification? Uh, if, 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 I don't know your name, sorry. I'm Tom. So if, if Tom is not interested in being the point person, who, is there someone to I can, I point can point man it. I just need other, other folks, basically, who are, you know, veterans or no people so who are. Go to Tom first. Yeah. Um, if you want, I can take this off the minutes, obviously, but I can give you my phone number, um, which is 757-903-8769. And um, it was just asked that since these are going around anyways, you may wonder what these are. These are index cards for you to write down your grievances, thoughts, ideas for the proposal that passed earlier. So if you get one of these, that's the purpose. All right, next person on SAC for formal proposal. Harry. Formal proposal. Okay. Sorry, I have it written down, but it's not very long at all. This is actually an informal proposal um, <coughs> that needs people to in order to make this happen. Uh, it has been discussed with several people that we uh, do a ne our next General Assembly at the General Assembly. 
uh, and do it in front of them. To do this, I think we need to have permits, which means we actually have to have a timeline for it because that's just how it is. If we want to work within the system, if we don't show up, you know, it can be a confrontation of sorts. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I'd like to have permits. So I'm currently looking for six people, two of you point persons with myself, for the purpose of signing the permits, because it's an hour each permit. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ms. Claire. Um, yeah, it's public, but not for assembly. They, they want permits for that. Wow. I know, that sounds crazy. It's just, oh, yeah. and, and may I yield to uh, Mr. Christopher Dorsey for a moment, because uh, he and I have actually been working on this together. Yeah, um, I have talked in great detail with many uh, people who have been active in Occupy Richmond, and Occupy the Hood about this. We have, I have handed out permits. I have filled out a permit. Um, uh, the permitting process is restrictive. It asks for um, the person responsible for the conduct of the group. It asks for principal officers. You know, it asks for lots of other things. I, I have copies um, of the, and I've given copies away and have encouraged other people and handed them directly to, I think, probably about 10 people to uh, fill out applications. And, and I'm really back to Harry because he's come up with a, a more concrete idea. I did meet with the, the DGS people, Department of uh, uh, General Services, who control the uh, uh, permitting process and let them know that it's restrictive. And they said that anybody can, can go onto the grounds if they'd like. They can't be part of a group, though, and they can do that for such things. And they, as an example was given, wedding photographs. So if we all pretend we're getting married and having weddings, <laughs> I don't want to get my tongue down there as long as we like, but I'll, I'll get back to Harry. And we got into how, how we're going to show up anyways. Uh, may I just kind of shake people as they come? Um, I, I'm concerned that we're already over time limit for this section of the agenda. So I'd like to encourage that the, the proposal be stated stated clearly, and then anybody who wants to work on Harry with this, do, meet with them after the meeting. Um, it's coming I up. I propose before. that we may extend time for this. I'll second. Any? Okay. A proposal to extend time. Those in support, please show. Those dissenting, please show. Oh, it's pretty mixed. How long? Um, give me three minutes. All right, three minutes. It seems like there's more support. Okay, so that you have a clear idea of what I'm saying, I am proposing one on the first day of Virginia General Assembly, which I believe is the 10th. 11th. 11th. I get confused sometimes. Okay, the 11th. On that day, we have a permit from whatever time to whatever time, you guys can decide, uh, to do GA there on location in front of of the body that's closed to the public, but we're open to the public. I think that's very important to know. With that said, we do our GA there, but to do that, we must have papers, in my opinion. To do those papers, we have to have six point people for every hour, and I think we tend to go over time sometimes. That's okay. We just need to make sure we have the right people for it. Um, that is my statement. One clarifying question. I just had a question. Who, is the, who are the permits? Is that through the city or would that be through the state? Um, Chris, Department of General Services and... Like uh, for the city or for the state? Uh, Commonwealth of Virginia. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, so we'll take it. Jordan. Um, so this would be on, on a Wednesday, you said? Yes. Um, and would it be in the evening? Um, the time is for the General Assembly to decide. Okay. So um, I, I can say that with the time frame we've got, there's no way the General Assembly can decide that. It would have to be the six point people who would then just move ahead with it. Because I was wondering, is it important to make sure we have at least, say, 40 people there? 
The more the merrier, yes. Are we going to make sure there are numbers before we create this whole plan? I yield that to the General Assembly to decide. Okay, so uh, I also know that there is a formal proposal that addresses this to a certain extent. Let's please just temp check support for this idea. Um, there's there's support there's of, what? No there are no policy. There's a formal proposal that addresses a good amount of this. Can we temp check this idea? Who's not in support of this idea? Okay, there's, there's some dissent. Um, what I'm going to propose as facilitation is since there is a formal proposal on this subject, we just got a lot of good information and a lot of good discussion done. Let's let this continue forward to the formal proposal and make sure that these things are addressed as part of that because this isn't a voting part of the agenda anyway. Um, everybody okay with that? Anyway, not okay with that. All right. Chris, Matt Dorsey. Chris. I'm just, I'm a little confused. I've never had a proposal like this before. Um, but is this, is this something that I should do now or do the group? Or? Yeah. Did you guys forget of it? Yeah, just because, he, because it's just his. Like, he yeah. has no uh, uh, it's not for him. Okay. Um, so, let me just read this. Okay. Um, basically, I just, uh, there's, a, there's a group, uh, it was a nationwide movement on January 20th which is the second year anniversary of the, the infamous Citizens United uh, court case, which basically said uh, corporate money is free speech. So there's a nationwide movement to, to occupy the courts. Um, I just want to put a little twist on what they were doing, because what, what they had all about was uh, with that court case. I just wanted to talk about, I mean, we can talk about that court case as well, but I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to have a protest at the federal courthouse in downtown Richmond on the 20th. Um, and talk about the National Defense Authorization Act, um, which allows for indefinite detention of Americans. And um, President Obama just signed this law, black, signed this into law last week um, on New Year's Eve when nobody was paying attention. A lot of people don't really know about this law. And I feel like uh, in front of the federal courthouse on Broad Street, Friday afternoon during rush hour, would be a great time to, to educate the, the public. I've already, um, I've already met with people, I've met, met with the U.S. Marshals at the courthouse, I'll probably have to get a permit for that as well. Um, and I was just thinking just have people speak, and then at sunset, having a, a candlelight vigil for the death of our civil liberties. Um, so I just wanted like, to make this uh, just a violation of that. Um, so an event supported by the GA, uh, yeah. endorsed by the GA. Um, okay, clarifying question? Um, so, if you could, I mean, Chris, could you communicate the key points of your proposal again? Um, I would just like to have a, just like to um, have a, 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 a official Occupy Richmond protest about the National Defense Authorization Act at the federal courthouse. Anything the NDAA? Clarification. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm, uh, I think the General Assembly has already voted to approve any sort of protest against the NDAA. <laughs> That has not taken place. Well, actually, <laughs> well, at least it has one. Uh, um, so, yeah, I don't Clarifying see anybody question. would be opposed to that. Yeah, uh, are you going to be the person bottom lining this and making this come happen and organizing everything? Um, yes. I okay. That. Just want to make sure. Yeah, great. Thank you. Can we temp check this? Who's supportive of this event? Lots of support. Anybody against this event? I think you got yourself an event, Chris. Well, thanks, yeah. guys. <laughs> actually got two fully consensus proposals, guys. So that was actually pretty productive. And thank you all for your, you know, your being productive in that. Uh, okay, so now we're going to move into the formal proposal.